Those of you who have who've been around a while or have taken some lessons or both know that one of the problems a lot of people have is when they go to hit a shot, instead of moving weight into their front foot and having the handle of the club lead the club head in and make contact with weight forward, hands forward, we see a lot of this. Where we move our weight incorrectly into our back foot and we kind of scoop at it. When we're talking about pitches, we're talking about, about shots that we hit where the ball is going to fly in the air, usually farther than it rolls. A chip is a shot where it rolls farther than it flies. So a lot of times when we're back here, you know, we're what? 12 yards off the edge of the green, maybe? We'd prefer to hit a shot that flies in the air, lands on the green, then rolls a short distance towards the hole. So kind of like that. So I landed on the green. And if I could hit all my pitches like that, I would be, I would be really, really happy, right? Um, in order to do this, we need to use a club that's got a good amount of loft on it. So I've got a, a sand wedge here that's 56 degrees. A lot of times people will try to hit a pitch with a pitching wedge. And unfortunately what's happened is over the years, pitching wedges are actually becoming stronger and stronger lofted, meaning they're hitting the balls lower and lower and lower. Does anyone know why a pitching wedge is now hitting the ball lower than it used to? Because they're trying to sell more clubs. So most people are in search of distance. So if a company says, hey, how do we sell more golf clubs? Well, if we de-loft all the clubs, the ball is going to go farther. The problem is if you're trying to get the ball up in the air, you need a club with more loft. So nowadays, if you want, if you want to hit a pitch shot, you're going to be looking at using a, a sand wedge, like a 56 degree sand wedge, or a club with even more loft than that. Okay? Uh, next thing, and this is where things are kind of tough. Um, just a show of hands, how many people here are, say, 15 handicap and higher, or don't even know they're handicap? Okay, so that's pretty much everybody. Roger, are you over 15 still? Really? Okay, all right, okay. So um, a lot of times when we're talking to people that are higher than a, say, a 15 handicap or people who are be beginning golfers, we have to be kind of careful because when we're talking about hitting a good pitch shot, we can confuse people a little bit, all right? Uh, those of you who have who've been around a while or have taken some lessons or both know that one of the problems a lot of people have is when they go to hit a shot, instead of moving weight into their front foot and having the handle of the club lead the club head in and make contact with weight forward, hands forward, we see a lot of this. Where we move our weight incorrectly into our back foot and we kind of scoop at it. And that can be a problem, and you may notice that I hit the ground before I hit the ball, and I, I hit a shot we call like a chunked shot. So when we're talking about helping most people play the game, we're trying to get people to get their weight into their front foot and get the handle leading the club head. When we're trying to hit a pitch, we need to be a little bit in between those two places. So let me show you an example of getting weight into our front foot and having the handle lead the club head. So that probably didn't look too professional, did it? So what happened was I may have been in a golf class or had a lesson or watched a YouTube video or something, and I may be thinking, oh, I need to make sure my hands stay ahead of the club, and I get into this handle drag sort of a situation. So this is kind of one of those times where, you know, we don't want to be scooping this way, but we also don't want to be handle dragging either. We want to find a kind of a happy medium place in between. And one of the things that this takes is it takes some practice. And it also, I think, takes the understanding that you're going to miss some shots when you're trying to learn how to hit good pitches. I would say of all the short game shots that we do, 
This is probably the toughest thing that we do. So all I'll say is just, you know, give yourself, you know, give yourself a break and be patient with yourself, okay? So what I wanna try to do is I wanna try to have feet close together, a little more weight in my front foot, and I wanna feel like the butt end of the club here is always pointing back at me, at least when the club is, say, parallel to the ground to parallel to the ground. So kind of like this. All right. All right, so that felt a little stiff, but it looked pretty good, right? Now, hopefully, I don't know if, if that may have moved a little bit too fast, but hopefully you didn't see a situation where my hands like outraced my chest dragging, and you didn't see a situation where the club had passed my hands either. We're looking for something kind of in, in the middle. Now, you will notice that I am always moving some weight into my front foot. And I would just say again, uh, I think that once people start to have an idea what they're trying to do here, where we get in trouble is being afraid to miss. Once you're afraid of the bad shot, it's really hard to pull off a good one. Would you say there's a little acceleration going through there also? Yeah. So that one, I actually missed it a little bit. I don't know if you can tell, I hit a little bit behind it, but the shot worked out pretty good. So there's one more little trick here that I'm kind of pulling off to, that really helps if I don't make perfect contact. What I'm doing is I'm slightly opening the club face just a little bit. And what that's gonna do, and we're gonna look at this closer, I'm gonna bring it up to the camera. When we open the club face a little bit, what happens is we start to activate the bounce here. So there's a nice little bit of metal that comes underneath the club face, and this prevents the club from digging into the ground when we open the face just a little bit. So whenever I'm hitting these little pitches, I always like to open the face just a little bit, and it gives me a little bit of wiggle room. Like it, 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 it allows me to hit behind the ball and still get away with hitting a shot that's gonna work out. <laughs>